This is the Embraer E195E2, the biggest variant of the E2 family. Designed for extraordinary efficiency, this aircraft boasts a top speed of Mach 0.82 and can fly nonstop over a distance of 2,600 nautical miles, making it one of the most fuel-efficient planes on the market. By the early 2010s, Embraer recognized a shifting market in emerging competition, particularly from new aircraft families like the Airbus A220. So to stay competitive and provide airlines with better operating economics, Embraer decided to develop an updated family of jets, which would eventually be called the E2 family. The E195 E2 retains the foundational design principles of the original E195, but incorporates advanced technologies and an extended fuselage to increase seating capacity and range, such as Pratt & Whitney's innovative geared turbofan engine technology, significantly improving fuel efficiency and reducing noise, and completely redesigned wings with a greater span and high aspect ratio, reducing drag and further improving fuel consumption. The plane's initial flight took place in 2017 at Embraer's headquarters in São José dos Campos, Brazil. The aircraft performed exceptionally during its testing phase, and after rigorous evaluations, it received type certification from the Brazilian Civil Aviation Agency, the EIASA, and the FAA in 2019. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Embraer E195 E2. Stepping inside, measuring 10.7 feet or 3.26 meters in width and 7.5 feet or 2.28 meters in height, the cabin offers ample space for a regional jet. Its length is approximately 122 feet or 37.24 meters, providing room for a variety of seating configurations. In a high-density single-class layout, the aircraft can accommodate up to 146 passengers. However, most airlines opt for a two-class configuration with around 120 to 132 seats. This two-class arrangement typically includes a premium section featuring wider seats in greater pitch. The main cabin is laid out in a 2-2 arrangement with no middle seats, which ensures that all passengers have either a window or aisle seat. Seats in the premium section usually offer a width of 20 inches or 50 centimeters and a pitch ranging from 34 to 36 inches or 85 to 90 centimeters. In the economy section, the seats are around 18 inches or 46 centimeters wide with a pitch of 31 to 33 inches or 78 to 83 centimeters. The seats themselves are ergonomically designed with high quality cushioning and adjustable headrests providing passengers with a comfortable experience even on longer routes. Overhead bins are spacious and designed with Embraer's SpaceFlex concept, which optimizes storage while maintaining a streamlined appearance, comfortably accommodating standard carry-on luggage. In-flight entertainment and connectivity options vary depending on the airline's preference. Some airlines offer high-definition screens at each seat with a wide selection of movies, TV shows, and music. Others opt for a streaming system, allowing passengers to connect their own devices to an onboard server through Wi-Fi. USB charging ports and AC power outlets are generally available. The lighting system uses LED technology with mood lighting capabilities to simulate natural light patterns, helping to reduce jet lag. The lighting adjusts throughout the flight, transitioning smoothly through different color temperatures to create a calming ambience. The spacious cabin and noise dampening measures in the aircraft's structure and engines also contribute to exceptionally low noise and vibration levels. Pressurization and air circulation systems are designed to ensure optimal passenger comfort. The cabin is pressurized to the equivalent of around 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters, even when cruising above 35,000 feet or 10,670 meters. HEPA filters efficiently remove contaminants, while fresh air is regularly introduced to maintain a healthy environment. And finally, lavatories are strategically positioned throughout the cabin to ensure passenger convenience. Their efficient layout and durable materials minimize waiting times and keep facilities clean. Some airlines also include accessible lavatories that accommodate passengers with reduced mobility. Now let's step into the cockpit. The flight deck layout follows a two-crew design and features Embraer's dark and quiet philosophy, which reduces unnecessary alerts and ensures that pilots focus only on critical information. The centerpiece of the avionics suite is the Honeywell Primus Epic II system, 
which integrates all the aircraft's critical flight and navigation data into four 13.1-inch high-resolution LCD screens. These screens provide comprehensive situational awareness through the electronic flight instrument system, engine indication, and crew alerting system, and navigation display. The EFIS presents critical flight parameters, including attitude, altitude, and speed, while the ICAS monitors the engines, fuel, and other essential systems, and the navigation display offers waypoint tracking, terrain mapping, and flight path information. The avionics suite seamlessly integrates with the dual flight management system, which optimizes flight plans for fuel efficiency and adherence to airline-specific operational procedures. The FMS uses a centralized navigation database to offer precise lateral and vertical navigation, and it interfaces with the autopilot and auto throttle systems to maintain optimal flight paths, speeds, and altitudes. The autopilot system, capable of category three automatic landings, manages all flight phases from takeoff to touchdown. In terms of safety, the cockpit features an enhanced ground proximity warning system and traffic alert and collision avoidance system. EG PWS offers terrain awareness and alerting to prevent controlled flight into terrain incidents, while TCAS identifies potential conflicts with other aircraft, suggesting evasive maneuvers to pilots when necessary. The predictive wind shear system provides early detection of turbulence, enabling the crew to navigate around adverse conditions. The cockpit includes cursor control devices, or CCDs, to allow pilots to navigate through flight management menus and select different display modes easily. Data entry is performed through the multifunction control display unit, which provides keyboard style input for routing adjustments, performance calculations, and communications. The overhead panel is well organized, providing access to critical aircraft systems such as electrical, fuel, and hydraulic controls. The avionics suite incorporates a state-of-the-art weather radar system that detects turbulence and storm patterns well in advance, which allows the crew to make real-time adjustments to flight paths, avoiding adverse weather and providing a smoother ride. Ergonomically, the cockpit provides spacious seating with fully adjustable positions and lumbar support to minimize pilot fatigue. And the control placement is consistent with Embraer's other aircraft, making it easy for pilots to transition between different models. The fly-by-wire flight control system enhances control precision while reducing pilot workload and is designed with multiple redundancy layers, ensuring reliable control even if primary systems are compromised. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Embraer E195E2 is powered by two Pratt & Whitney PW1900G engines, which incorporate the revolutionary geared turbofan technology, a cutting-edge engine technology that features a reduction gearbox between the fan and low-pressure compressor and turbine, allowing each component to operate at its most efficient speed. The engines each deliver up to 23,000 pounds force of thrust, providing ample power while maintaining excellent fuel efficiency. The GTF architecture achieves a high bypass ratio of 12 to 1, helping the plane consume up to 24% less fuel per seat than its predecessor, which results in significantly lower operating costs, making it highly competitive in regional and medium haul markets. The aircraft requires 6,040 feet or 1,840 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 137,000 pounds or 62,000 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 35,600 pounds or 16,150 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,500 feet per minute or 760 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0 0.82 or 473 knots, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0 0.78 or 450 knots, a maximum range of 2,600 nautical miles, which is 3,000 miles or 4,800 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 4,230 feet or 1,290 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Embraer 195E2 is $60 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe.
Thanks for watching.